Hello there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another tarot reading. Scorpio, now Scorpio, now I've been trying to give y'all a break because you seem like you keep hearing the same old readings over and over again with the same old person and you acting like you don't want to hear it. Look, don't get mad at the messenger. I love you guys. I'm only here to bring you what spirit tells me to bring you. If this person is jumping on my energy, wanting me to let you know something, because I'm only the messenger. I am clearly only the messenger, Scorpio. But someone is jonesing for you, Scorpio. They miss the passion. Scorpio, they just miss everything about you. They are tired of waking up with a hard on, Scorpio. Every morning they wake up, they have an erection or they done wet themselves, okay? So either they got the WAP or they got the WAD for you, Scorpio. Okay, I'm just, look, I'm just a messenger here. So we're using the spell casting oracle cards today. This is going to be an intuitive reading for you, Scorpio, okay? This is what I feel. Because we're using the light seers. We're not clarifying because this speaks for itself here. Now, passion here. Your person is, like I say, your person is waking up with a heart on, honey. Uh, you, you're not with this person, but this person is not over you, Scorpio. It's like they have a lot of built-in passion for you, Scorpio. They miss that loving about you, Scorpio. And this is coming up with uh, Lover's Day, Halloween, uh, Halloween, you know, Valentine's Day. This person is really feeling you sexually, Scorpio. This is sexual energy this person has and this passion energy. But it's not just the passion. It's not just the sexual energy they feel towards you, Scorpio. They love you. See, that's the card underneath the bottom. This person has a lot of love for you. This person is in a very bad dilemma here, Scorpio, because this person loves you and this person has a lot of passion for you, yet they're not with you, Scorpio. Now, we know how this story has been going on with your person, Scorpio, but and it could be the same person, for, for but this is a general, so whoever it fits, you know. Uh, but this person is sexually attracted to you. You're stealing your person's energy sexually. This person has not released you. I don't care how many other lovers they have. They still tend to come back to the energy of Scorpio's loving. <laughs> That's right. And so, look, this person, next card, we have Spirit Guide here. Now, your person is being led to you spiritually. Your person is being guided to you spiritually. The spirits are guiding your person to you. Now, I would say your person's spirits are guiding them to you for the ones who still want their ex. Now, if you don't want your man back, your girl back, look, you don't have to tell me about it. It doesn't matter because it's going to look like you do want them back when you comment in the comment description below. I'm just saying, if you don't want a person, why watch the video? So whoever this person who is spiritually guided to come towards, this is someone who has been manifesting and preparing for their person to come back. Okay, so everybody ain't 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 everybody ain't not tripping. Some people still want their passion. Someone is still in love with their person. Okay, so like I say, your person is spiritually guided to you, Scorpio, because I feel like you've been manifesting this person, whether you know it or not. But I feel like if you're if you're wanting this person, you know you are because this person is on your mind. So I feel like this is an equal. Um, this is you guys are mirroring each other's energy in, in this time of separation here. And so this next card here we're going to pull is travel. This person wants to come to you. You hear me, Scorpio? This person really wants to come to you, Scorpio. They do. You got this person is spiritually guided to you. This person wants to travel to you, Scorpio. And what is driving this force is not only are they spiritually guided to you, but the passion and the love that they have for you, Scorpio, is what's bring, bringing this person to you here. So, as you can see, this beautiful color here, Ten of Cups here. Now, this is what this person is passionate about you, Scorpio, is because they feel like you could have been that chick or you could have all, already been this person's, uh, what they call it, in-house loving. Uh, you make them feel like home, Scorpio, the connection with you and this passion. It's like when they make love to you, Scorpio, you make them feel like home home okay it doesn't matter you know what it is or what it ain't it's something about the chemistry and the passion between the two of you make no mistake about it you make this person feel like you were already mrs 
uh, Mrs. X. Okay, we'll say Mrs. X. So this person really wants this Ten of Cups with you, Scorpio. Uh, they're passionate about it. They want this with you. But for whatever reason, I feel like it ended. You know, we all know how the story go. Maybe this person was keeping secrets from you, Scorpio, because we do have the moon card here. But I feel like in this spread, this moon is representing your person's energy is in balance. Your person is extremely moody. Uh, people probably don't want to be around. It's probably being an asshole, you know, dropping shit, thumping their toe, uh, you know, really harming themselves because their energy is off because they need to release this passion and see... You know, even though I feel like, Scorpio, you're dealing with a male, you know, we're not really de de dealing with gender. It's the energy. This, like I say, this is a female, Scorpio. Then your person is a male. Then they can't just be with anyone and get this release. Yeah, they can get a temporary release, but it's not an emotional, spiritual release as well because that's what Scorpio brought to the mother table. Okay, let's let's keep it real. We got we to gotta tell it like it is now. So... This person, energy may be off. They may be, you know, snapping at folks, <laughs> acting kind of deranged, moody, fussing and arguing. You know, just their unusual self. It's because they have a lot of built-up passion and because ultimately they love you and you're not around. You guys are not together here. So this is not some instant passion. No, this is a long passion that has built up, meaning the relationship has been stagnant or distanced or disconnected for a while here. So underneath your moon card, we have the emperor here. This person wants, see, this person feels like they're not themselves because they're missing some vital component in their life. And that's the energy of Scorpio. Every, the whole make a model of, of Scorpio. You, you check out the description of the Scorpio. This is what they need because this person really wants to be that person. This person wants to be, um, in control they want to be balanced they want because they're not balanced in this moon energy their energy is all over because they tired of jacking off scorpio you hear me <laughs> they tired of jacking off they said god damn if i have to beat my meat one more time look this look i said intuitively scorpio now you scorpio i know you can handle it so this person really wants to be in control scorpio they want to be in, in control of their emotions but it's kind of hard because they don't have you so now we have the five of swords now, I feel like this person wants you so bad, Scorpio. They know how you are, Scorpio. Now, now let's, let's keep it real. This person know you. And they know that they can't just do any and everything with Scorpio. And they feel like if they come honestly, then you're not going to accept it. So I feel like this person will try to manipulate you, Scorpio, because they want you just that bad. They will try to manipulate you. They feel like in order to get this Ten of Cups, I'm going to have to manipulate and kind of, kind of, Kind of, kind of charm or run a little game on Scorpio because Scorpio, if it ended bad, then I know Scorpio, the last thing Scorpio probably want from me is this Ten of Cups. But little do they know, some Scorpios do. So underneath your Five of Swords, Scorpio, you have the Sun card here. Now, Scorpio, you could very well be dealing with a Leo, but this represents uh, hope, uh, inspiration, uh, abundance, joy, happiness, um, you know, just overall uh, high energy. So this person is still hopeful. You know, this person thinks highly of you. You like this person's light up. So I feel like this person is hopeful that they can get you Scorpio because they're hopeful that they can get you, but they may have to run a little game on you Scorpio, but it is not a harsh game. Cause I don't feel like it's harsh because this five of swords is next to the 10 of cups and the three of one. This is something they're there. They thought of this is a, a planning this person has mentally planned this out here. This is why I say this person has been spiritually guided. This person is spiritually guided to come to you because this is a thought out plan here. You know, three of ones is foresight planning. It's waiting. This person's waiting for you. This person waiting for this ten of cups to come back so they can fulfill all this passion because they really, really do love you, Scorpio. Now, underneath your sun card, Scorpio, we have <laughs> the knight of swords here. Now, this person, I feel like this person really wants to rush in. They really want to rush in to you, Scorpio. I'm telling you, they really want to rush in to you some kind of bad because of this passion here. It's a lot of built, built up passion, you know. Uh, but like I say, this emperor is right next to it, but they want, they want to try to be in control. But I do feel like this person is kind of upset with you, Scorpio, because you've made them... You've left them without, Scorpio. You took your love back. You took your passion back. 
So now this person feel like they got to play games just to get you back, even though they you probably, they probably lost you with these games. But this game is for a good cause, <laughs> Scorpio. So I feel like this person has got a bone to pick with you, but at the same time, they want to rush into you so bad. But they're having to be patient. And they know that they got to plan because they can't rush into Scorpio. Scorpio not having that. So this is why this three of wands come in. It's next to this five of swords. This person's really trying to manipulate, but this person also knows that they're going to have to be patiently and be strategic and plan to come in to you, Scorpio. Because underneath your three of wands, Scorpio, we have the ace of wands. They want this passion, a new beginning. See the ace of wands right next to the passion. This day, this is what's drawing them. Scorpio, they trying to give you the big one, girl. You hear me? The big one. The fresh out the soapy water one. Uh, the the balls full and, and about to burst type of ones energy. Look, I'm just telling you, this is what they want to give you. So underneath, now we know the Ace of Wands is fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy here. This passionate new beginning here. This brand new passionate beginning. So underneath your Ace of Wands, we have the Three of Cups. They want to renew this shit. They said, damn, I have such an amazing time with Scorpio. Scorpio is the life of the party. Scorpio's energy, it just does it for me. It turns me on in every kind of way. This is why I love my Scorpio here. So they do want to renew this connection. They miss the happier times with you, Scorpio. They miss that energy of just laid back. Because you look, Scorpio, you was like Bunny and Clyde with this person, okay? They've never found another bunny. You hear me? Another bunny, Scorpio. No, they haven't. You're, you're irreplaceable. I, I keep telling you that. So your next card is the King of Pentacles. Now this person wants to bring stability within this Ten of Cups home life. They like, you know what, I ain't going to just... Yeah, I ain't gonna just, you know, gut you down. I'm gonna I'm 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 invest this time. We're gonna build something. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna build some things with you, Scorpio, because I wanna make sure you remain around here because I know you'll leave. <laughs> this person know that they don't treat you right, they know you'll leave. So now we have the chariot card. Now this is cancer's energy. But this is this person wanting to rush in. This is this person having to really get control of the things in their life, even their passion. Because I feel like this person's energy has been all over the place in the moon card. And I feel like they really had to step into this emperor's energy in order to come forward. Now, you remember you have the chariot, which is movement. This is the, you know, they may be in, they may have bought a charger or a Mustang or some shit. I'm just saying. But they're coming. And look how they, look, look at them. Look how they coming. He have dress coming. He even got all his clothes on. He coming for the, that passion is what's, I mean, they love you, but look. Look. Look how this person's coming at you, Scorpio. He's coming like a thief in the night for that loving. So you got the chariot card. We know this is movement here. Your person is spiritually guided. That's movement here. And then let's not forget the travel. This person is wanting to come, 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 come towards you, Scorpio. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Now your next card is the page of swords. That's why I feel like this person watches you, Scorpio, and pops it off. For, for you female Scorpio, for you feminine Scorpios, your guy watches you and jacks off. They don't like it, though. Now, for you male Scorpios, your female watches you and she play with herself. She do the same thing. I'm just saying, okay? The passion is the same for a Scorpio, okay? <laughs> so this is a person watching you and being aroused by what they see, Scorpio. Because it seems like every time they watch you, because the last card we have here is the Eight of Swords. When they watch you, it makes them more stuck on you, Scorpio. They don't know what to do. This person stays, you stay in this person's head, Scorpio. And you see this person looking, They. this is you, Scorpio, in their head. And look how they looking. <laughs> they looking crazy because they're not with you. They rather have you physically than in their head, Scorpio, because they can't do the, they want to feel you. You know, they can, they can imagine and fantasize and, and, you know, obsess over you, but it's not the same as feeling you. They want to feel you, Scorpio, in this passion energy because... They love you. Now, I don't want to hear you saying you don't want this person because somebody want them. I mean, after all, if it's been a drought, you got the Ace of Wands coming in. I mean, goddamn. And they've been working on their money. They're doing pretty good on their money here. They boss money energy here. You know they're going to take you out and show you a good time, Scorpio. And after they show you a good time, you know what's next. All that passion. But until then, all this person going to do is watch you, be stuck on you, and jack off to the energy of you, Scorpio. All right, my lovely Scorpio, this has been your reading, honey. So if this video resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. 
hit the notification bell. Also, I'm still offering the 2020 20 minute personal readings for $20. Check out the description box below. I love you guys so much, Scorpio, and you guys have an awesome, awesome day. Bye, Scorpio.